Sudan. Where are you, Where are you from? Romania. Russia? Romania. Romania. <laughs> I just uh, was speaking and working with a company, ABB, and I went to Budapest. I went through all through Eastern Europe. I loved it. Okay. I loved it. It's very I'm glad to. Beautiful. <laughs> yes, it's beautiful country. All right. Okay, we're back. Okay, my name is Ryan. Thank you for coming in. Uh, again, as I was saying, we have people from all across the globe. We love this. If I speak too quickly, you tell me. Quiet, down, slow, okay? <laughs> so, I'm going to demonstrate and dramatize something, and you, Mr. Makota, and Mr. Masashi, you're going to be my two uh, actors. Okay, <laughs> are you ready for that? And all kidding aside, the fob key, as we know it, is going to be a thing of the past. Insofar as you'll still get a fob key with your vehicle, however, you don't need it anymore. You no more worry about losing it, or, Mr. Masashi, you want to loan the car to Mr. Mercado. How do you get the key to him sometimes? Especially, let's face it, you are colleagues, you're working in your office. I worked in, uh, I lived and worked in Tokyo for a, sh for a while. I uh, didn't, we owned Ropongi. Why would you go to But the Rita Airport, very big, very big airport. Imagine trying to find a car in a Rita Airport, yes? You understand? Yes? So, example, they are two people who work together in an office. Mr. Masashi has gone to Narita to leave the car and get on the plane to come to CES. You have stayed behind. You're, you're working in the office very hard, doing his job. But you need the car to go to a meeting. You, you contact him. He can send you a key virtually and also show you where the car is in Narita. So I'm going to show you that today, okay? And I'm also going to show you how you can enter the car safely three different ways. So step over here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Scenario number one, you come out and you have your smartphone in your hands. You know, you're, you're not, maybe uh, you've packed light or whatever. And it shows that it's unlocked, okay? So I'm going to lock it up so I can show you how to unlock it. <laughs> All right, so it's unlocked. Locked. So I want to come out, I want to get inside the car, so I will unlock it. Hello, come on over, join us. Hello, Mr. Wong. Hello, lovely ladies. Karen Bradley, how are you? How are you? And then you can also unlock it again by using your smartphone. Of course, that's the obvious way, the smartphone. But how many of you have gone through, I know this happens to me on a daily basis, smartphones, my smartphone is so portable, I put it in my pocket, I don't know where it is anymore. I haven't lost it, but I've displaced it. Or it's in my briefcase, or maybe it's in your bag, or maybe, just maybe, Karen Bradley, Susan Bradley, Mr. Luca, who's married to who? Anybody? Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> so what, she's married to him? Yeah. All uh right. -huh. Okay, Jen, you're at the shopping center. How's this for a perfect scenario? She's spending all your money, okay? <laughs> and as a result, she's got a bunch of bags, and she's coming out. And where's my smartphone? What do I do? How do I get into the car? I don't want to put everything down. Okay, you know what, Jen? You can have, instead of that watch, a smartwatch. And as long as you have this with you, you know it's with you somewhere, you can lock and unlock the door. So we'll unlock it using the smart the smartwatch. Here we go. See? So you can unlock using a smartwatch. Smartwatch is just for open and close. Okay? Okay, one last time, I promise you I'm going to lock it back up just to show you one more tank, one more way to unlock it. So Jan, same thing, you've come out once again, she spent all your money, okay? <laughs> the ball. Okay. And you come out, Jen, your hands are full, and you've forgotten your smartwatch, but of course you have your smartphone with you, and you know it's with you somewhere, or you have your smartwatch, and you don't want to use your smartwatch. My car is intuitive, thanks to this technology. You touch. See? That's all you got to do is touch it, and, and I'll close it back up one more time, and then we're going to get the car started for you, and I'll show you some other great capabilities. We're almost done, maybe another 30 seconds, but you can also lock it up the same way intuitively. See? And if the window's down, you hold this in, the window will go up automatically. What do you think? Are you with me so far? Pretty good? Okay. So we appreciate your time. We're almost done, like I said. Um, 
If you can't, everybody, we don't have enough room, obviously. There's only three seats. So the way I'm going to do it is not have everybody get in the car. But if you do want to come around where everybody can see or just listen to me, that's why I'm on the line. I get in the car. They have gained access through my smartphone or my smartwatch or my touch. I have a smartphone with me. I locate that smartphone where it is on me, and I place it here on the front console. Now, the only reason we say that is because it is near the uh, Bluetooth antenna by being here. So that's one of the uh, protocols that we strongly suggest because then you can start the car, and again, it doesn't matter. You can uh, uh, make sure I'm in here. Now, literally, Jan, your fob can be back at your apartment. It could be, it could be in Tokyo with them. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So you start the car and you go upon your journey. Now, uh, we're going to be in deference to uh, emissions and so on. So we, uh, we won't run the car too long. Let's just say you've had a very quick trip. You've come back. You have made your destination. It's time to close up. And I'll just choose to use my intuitive way to do that. But you also always use the smartphone or the smartwatch to close up, as I showed you on the end of smartphone. Now, let's talk about the next step. Again, there's not much more to talk about except for this. Is how do you send a key virtually to someone? Well, first of all, send it through the cloud, very securely, on a level of credit card, security mobile credit card. So Let's just say, we're going to go back to our friends here, uh, Mr. Makado and Mr. Masashi, okay? They are colleagues. You're in Tokyo. Remember, remember Narita Airport? Okay, he gets all the luck. He gets all the fun. He gets to go to CES. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, thanks to Mr. Masashi, okay? And so you need the car for two days, or until he gets back from CES, which is, it ends tomorrow. But there's a time difference. So let's make sure you get the car. So you're on the contact list. You create a contact just like you do for any other cell phone, right? So your name is on the contact list, right? And he can send you a key so that you can pick up the car and read them. Imagine your name is on this app. We won't create the contact. We'll show you that step. But I want to uh, let me finish it real quickly. Just take my word for it. Imagine this is one of your names right here. And you simply add your name to the list and you say, Oh, wait a minute. Uh, you can add someone permanently or you can add one temporarily. Anybody have any of our moms? Did anybody have a teenage daughter? Did anybody ever have a teenage kid? Anybody in our audience have? We had a parent student that goes, this is a great way because you can also factor in a date and a time that they can temporarily have the key sent to them virtually. So you want to make sure your teenage daughter is moved by 11.30 curfew on a Friday night? Come to us. Got it? Okay. So in your case, it's, nine, it's on the 9th. Did you say at the end of CES? You program that, and you'll see the logo come on there. In just a minute, you'll see the contact list pop back on, and you add that contact for the time and the date that you designate. See that? You see the contacts come back on? Now, obviously, again, I'm not going to add that at this point because we would have I have to add a delete and add a delete. But you can delete anybody at any time, and you can add. Uh, an unlimited number of people from your con as long as they're on your contact list, literally a hundred people could have a virtual key. Okay? Think about that for rentals. Think about that for fleet management. So I'm gonna button up and, and finish by saying this. So oh my gosh, Mr. McCutter, you go to Maria, how do you how do you locate the car? You know how big an airport Narita is? I know I'm from LA, LAX, okay? There's a there's a vehicle locator, GPS. So all you have to do is this is the car, and it also shows another icon when you are in search for it, and you've enacted this application where you are in relationship to the car to help you find it. And what you do there, get in and get out, like we said, stop and start, like we said. And then the final thing we'd like to point out is this application. Okay, you see this is going to get on. service dates, the last date, the next recommended date. That's very good in this case. Think about how good it would be for police departments. I mean, you talk about sharing all these vehicles, three or four officers will share a unit because they keep those out on the road all the time. Or 
car rental, they can follow the car and find out what levels are so they can maintain those vehicles properly on a huge expanded scale. So there you have it, that's about it. it just, just in time. Timing, right? Yes, my muse, my man, the man, the man I aspire to be. Okay. <laughs> I need to leave. He is one of the great innovators here, seriously, and has made this all possible. So if you have any technical questions, he's right here. And of course, please, my wonderful associate, Jacqueline, she is here standing by. Make sure she gets a business card. We can stay in touch with you and keep you updated. We're looking, what, to get this out 2016, 2017, correct? Yes. So having said that, we want to thank you very much. Remember, everybody, for all your hip blue virtual key system needs, there's only one name, one company, one place. For automotive people who are on the go, the word number is what? Valeo. Valeo. Carlin, you're my man. <laughs> All right, everybody. Peace. <laughs> have a great day here at CES. Thank you. Talk to them, guys, and experiments for yourself. If you have any questions, let us answer. I'm Brian. We'll be back with you in another demo in a few short moments. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you.